Right, so you're joining me back here with our little scene that we were making in the last episode. So since then, I've obviously put down the ballast. I've added a few little details as well, just with our trackside cabinets and some of the trunking as well that we do. So we're going to move on to the actual kind of housing scene and again just showing off a few of the products that, that we've kind of brought onto the website in the last last few weeks. So we're just going to start off with kind of mapping everything out and where we're going to start having everything. So one of our new products are these fences. I mean two different sizes, they come in scale size six foot tall and also a three foot tall version as well. So I'm going to have these kind of around the property here. So they do just push in. Obviously if you've got a wooden baseboard then you can just drill a small hole as well just for these to slot in. So they're all on legs and that just means that they do stay perfectly upright. If you did have a baseboard that you couldn't cut into then of course you could just cut the legs off and just glue them up straight as well. That would work. So that should be a nice size for our first sort of garden. We'll have a little pathway down here we sort of planned out last time. The next thing is our little greenhouses. And these uh, these look really, really nice, just kind of instantly change and transform the look of the scene. And we have got some little potting tables as well. Don't know if you can quite quite see that there. And they've got a little watering can on them, a little plant pot and everything like that, just to add. Slot that in around there. Next thing are these raised beds, and um, we do them with soil or without soil as well. Again, I'll just show you there if I can. Um, so I think they'll look quite nice here. Got a little car. I'll just check the size on there, just against the the house that we've got. So that works quite well. And um, we've got some little bins and things, and um, some benches. So these again come in two different sizes. You've got a um, two-person bench and a three-person bench as well. So we could have a few of these down our sidewalk at the back. Um, brilliant. And then got some of the apple trees in as well. I think that'll look quite nice about here, to be honest. Right. You can push that in. So you can use them on the bases or they do detach from the base as well, which is really good just to kind of push into your baseboard. So, definitely have that one there. And I'm going to use some of the sunflowers that we've got as well. These are both Fala products. Um, again, can be found on the website. Got some oil drums and some of the small little metal dustbins. And I think that should just about do us. So, I'll have one of our houses there. And I've, put, I've planned for another couple of houses here as well. I did roughly map this out just to give me an idea of how it would look. Um, so you can see obviously with these products being fully painted when, when they're delivered, they're really, really easy just to kind of quickly transform your scene, um, which is exactly what we're doing here. They're gonna be really easy to cut as well. Um, so that's perfect. So let's start off with the paint for the area. Again, we're gonna go in with this Vallejo um, base. A little paintbrush here. It's a better size. And then I'm just gonna cover all of this area where our path's gonna be. It's gonna be quite a, a muddy path, really, this one. Um, It is quite a narrow sort of entrance, so I can't see it being very well taken care of. Um, I did mention in the last episode, obviously do all of your painting first. It does apply to this as well. Um, it's just because I, I was quite hoping to split it up into a couple of episodes. So that's why I'm doing it in two separate ones here. 
again obviously for kind of speed and things and for a larger area you could be using the airbrush and it would be a little bit quicker and a little bit more efficient as well with the amount of paint that you're using. That's great, that kind of maps out our um, path areas. And then we'll just put some for underneath where our grass is gonna go in the gardens as well. So you can see I'm obviously just painting straight on top of the styrene sheet here. The grass is going to cover up all of the little defects in it. If you are using extruded styrofoam, it will be a lot smoother. Essentially, it's, it's just polystyrene, but it's just a little bit finer. So underneath where our fence is going to sit, that's going to be quite dark. Let's get started with this area. So we'll start with the path, I think. And um, so I'm going to use a mix of, oh, I couldn't find where I'd put the glue there. And um, I'm going to use a mix of kind of sand scatter and mud scatter. Um, and then a little bit of greenery in there as well. And we want this to be fairly flat, as if it's been regularly walked. So again, just putting our glue down first. And then I'm going to come in first with some of our sand scatter. Just to give it a little undercoat of lighter colour. And again, it's just going to add just a little bit of variation. It might be something that's not quite for the area, if you like. And then we're going to just mix our dark earth here. And I've got some of the um coarse grass in this bowl as well so we're going to sprinkle that down our pathway and just dropping just a few bits of that grass in there as well just to bring the variation together So the kind of look that we're going for here is, and um, the grass was kind of originally here, people have walked over it, sort of killed it off and flattened it all down. Um, so it's got a little few tufts of grass kind of coming through in between. where our kind of allotment areas are going to be. I'm 
And here, I am just going to do a combination of the darker earth and mixed in with a little bit of grey tarmac scatter. And what that's going to kind of resemble is sort of gravel, um, kind of mixed in just around the raised beds. A lot of people kind of use it just to firm up the ground around there. We'll put a little bit of green in as well. Again, just giving it that sort of aged sort of look, used um, on that area. Super. get the bag. I'm going to use some of the sand mixture, um, sand and stone scatter mixture. Um, again just kind of to give a sort of interior of gravel bags kind of being thrown down just to protect the inside of the greenhouse. I'm just making sure that I don't go past the line there that I want. little potting table in the greenhouse. Put the greenhouse on top, see how that looks. Yeah, very happy with that sort of look. Um, okay, the potting table is just so the, the greenhouse isn't empty really, so it's got, when you look in there, it has got a little thing going on. So, um, all of this area, apart from where this is going to go, So we should have our fence in here. And bring our house back. So we want that to be cut about there. So all of this is for the pavers um, of kind of the cemented section. All I'm using here is just a piece of card just sprayed with some grey spray paint. Um, so spray it first with grey, with grey um, then mottle it with kind of a a dry brush um, effect with some black on it and then I've just sprayed grey over that again and what it gives you is kind of like a textured a textured finish so again just checking back with the sides of the house and then where our pavers are going to lay so that's super so we'll get this stuck down first and then it's not going to the grass isn't going to stick to it then And where our car is going to be parked, um, again I'm just going to use some of the um, tarmac finish on that. Just up to the fence line. And then just a little bit of green just around the edges where the fence is going to sit on top of. That's great. What I've made as well is some little pavers. Um, again, exactly the same way, just made a piece of card um, with some grey and black on it. And then I've just cut that into just smaller squares. That's just going to allow me just to make some pavers kind of through the middle of the grass. So now we can start putting down the rest of the glue for the grass. 
which is basically going to go all over here. Super sank. Let's get our static grass loaded back in. So we've ended up with quite a natural coverage um, of the different areas, which is quite nice. So let's just wipe away any bits that ended up with the on top of the pavers. Right. So for me with these fences I don't really need to glue them in. Um, just because they will stay um, because I've got the little legs on. So really really quick and easy just to transform the area. bench in there couple of little rubbish bins just to kind of go around the back here couple of tyres as well. So just about just adding just the detail just around these areas. Any little holes or errors you can just use the scatter for as well. Just to kind of fill in in there. So this little section here I'm just going to cut just one of these little fence pieces off and say really really easy to kind of cut through. Um, so just like that and then that one's just going to slot in there and just make that section up for us. Perfect. So you can kind of shape everything kind of how you want it to look um, and make it into your your layout. Right, so really happy with kind of how that looks. Um, obviously we've got the detail of the little greenhouse here. Obviously we've got our little bins, um, little park bench, um, raised beds, greenhouse with a pointing table inside, little dustbin, and we have got these little tyres down here as well. Um, and I've just put a couple of our pallets around the back just for just for a little bit of effect. Just someone's come and dump down, dump them down next to the rail line. Um, so loads and loads of things you can do, and obviously um, for getting our fences there as well, um, really really easy to quickly 
quickly make a scene just like that. So I'll go ahead and get this pack finished, this pack part finished, and I'll be back with you in a second. I've just um, finished there. I've kind of just put everything together there. Obviously, just added these couple more gardens. And um, we've got our fallow apple trees here, our fallow sunflowers, and um, we have got some little sheds as well. And um, really nice, just to kind of just add just an instant bit of detail to the layout. And um, obviously, we'll put the benches in here. We've got the two-person bench here, the three-person bench here, just on the footpath. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So the um, the houses that I've used here are the Hornby houses, but obviously you can just kind of map it with whatever um, buildings that you've got. It would also work with our, we've got the card kits on our website, the front and back card kits. They're really, really good, made by super quick, really, really easy to put together with really clear instructions as well. So yes, yeah, so if you do have any questions, obviously just drop us a message or leave us a comment below and happy modeling. Thank you very much for watching guys and we'll see you again soon.